Hello, my name's Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you to another cooking class with Photoshop. In this class, we're going to look at um, bringing in our rendered plan from SketchUp and working working with Photoshop to do some rendering with it. So I'm going to start with bringing in my black and white. I'm going to open up my black and white. And this is the section view that we did in SketchUp. I cut this would be your flat floor plan. This is mine, so obviously it's going to be a little different. Um, but the, the process is there. So if you look at your other tutorials on SketchUp for Photoshop, you'll see what we're talking about. So now I'm going to place a colored a version of this. And I'm just going to accept that. And then I'm also going to bring in a rendered version. So again, I'm placing this in here. Okay, so now these are the same image. The only difference is this is rendered. This one is color. And this is black and white. We use the black and white with the magic wand, which is under your quick select tool, to select areas. So you can see that sometimes areas are hard to select, so you might go into a different mode to select them as well. So these should be selecting a little easier than that, but we'll get this sorted out. So all the work we're going to be doing is going to be on our rendered floor. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I'll just call this render. Now, um, what we want to do is we want to use the burn and dodge tool to highlight areas, try to get everything sorted out so that we can work with our different things. So I'm not going to worry about these three areas here, these two corners. I'm not going to worry about those. I'm just going to worry about the bedroom and so on. So first thing I need to do is uh, in my background layer, again, if you can see that I'm if I turn everything off, you can see where how I'm getting here. So with my magic wand, I'm selecting this area. Now everything is selected nicely. That's very good. So now I can uh, go back to my rent, um, rendered layer, turn that on. And from here, what I want to do is I'm going to go into selection and save selection. And I'm just going to call this my living room plan. So I'll just call it LR. Actually, just call it floor. So it's just strictly that one area. So in the rendered view, make sure that this is highlighted. Make sure it's turned on. I'm going to look at my burn and dodge tool. I'm going to start by using the burn tool in this area. And it's telling me I can't do anything. So that reminds me that I need to renderize this, so rasterize it, sorry rasterize and now I can do that so what I've done is I've selected a brush and I like to something in this area one of these brushes is works really well for me whatever brush you like again you can change the size um, you need to look at your different things you've got highlights mid-tones this is a mid-tone and I'm going to set my exposure to seven percent so if I start doing my brush strokes across here you can see that it's bringing, it's making things darker. So probably along the wall area it would be a little bit darker. Maybe not quite that dark, so I can go back and go into Dodge, similar again, and I can just try to lighten that off a little bit. And maybe try going back again and doing a little bit of dodge. Just uh, so getting to be a little bit dark. So with my history, I'm just going to go back maybe and try this again. I'll go back to here. I've got a bit of burn here, a bit of burn in this area. 
burn is not even. It's going to be different o- over every area. Then go back into Dodge. So this just gives you a feeling that things have changed a little bit. So that's good. So now what I'm going to do is go back to my background layer. Again, this is what the background layer looks like. To When I go down here, this is what it looks like to Photoshop. So when I click on my magic wand, now I have my kitchen floor. So now I can go into my selection again and call it my kitchen floor. I'm just going to call it a K floor. And again, thing, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go into my burn and you can see that it brings out the pattern quite nicely. So I'm going to uh, do uh, another area. So I go back to my background layer here with my magic wand. I'm just going to click on this and this becomes my bedroom floor. So again, select save selection B room and again I can go back to my render area and I can work in here as well and go back into my dodge So once I'm happy with this, then I'm just going to go into different areas. So now what I want to do is I want to look at working on my furniture. So again, if I go into my background area, I can, I'm going to use my magic wand. And I'm going to try to select my couch. So I'm having a little bit of trouble selecting with the magic wand. So maybe what I'll do, I'll just stay in the render view and I'll use my my rectangular marquee tool. Just deselect first, control D. And now I will highlight these areas. Holding down the shift so I can add to this. And I'll probably have to do this in two rectangles to get this to to work out the way I want. You can always zoom in here if you liked, if that will make it easier. And I'll just call this selection Al Fern. It's my living room furniture. So now when I go to work on this, when I go and bring in my Dodge and my Burn, um, I need to change this to highlights. Otherwise, I'm not going to get any, see any change. And just keep on working like this. So I'm going to pause right now because I have to do quite a bit of other area. And then when I'm finished that, I'll start it back up again. So I'm just going to put this on pause. Okay, um, now that we've sort of set this out, you can see I've done areas for my living room furniture, kitchen furniture. Oh, we've got uh, kitchen floor, sorry, living room floor, bedroom floor, living room furniture, bedroom furniture, dining rug. Um, I also did the counter in the kitchen, which I forgot to do the layer on, which is fine. Um... I've done my burn and dodge on all of these different areas. So it's looking pretty good. Now, uh, one thing that's kind of, the, the picture is a little bit tight here. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to crop this image here. So I'm just going to click into here. Actually, I think I'll start off by just trying to give, give myself a guideline to just try to make this, this area here that's close to that area. Same on this side. Just close is good enough, 
and now I can crop. This is my crop tool here. So I just crop from this corner to this corner. And then I accept that and it crops all the way down. So that's, this gives me a little bit better working area so I can magnify plus up. That's, that's good. So this helps a lot. Now once we've set this area all up, I, uh, just getting rid of the guidelines, don't need them anymore. What I want to do here is some of these areas that I have, I want to be able to do a little bit more work with them. So in the case of this, these things here, this is all furniture. So what I want to do here is maybe do a little bit of 3D work with it. So I'm going to do a, a bevel and emboss and some shadow. So um, I'll just start off by selecting my kitchen counter again. Going to include the fridge as well. So again, selection, save, kitchen. Counter. So um, with this, I can't really do um, any effects on this the way it is now. So what I need to do is I need to copy this, Control C, and then Control V gives me a new layer with this stuff on it. Now with this new layer, I can go to my effects and I can do my bevel and emboss. And you can see what's happening with it. So everything kind of has a little bit of a edge to it. It looks like it's 3D. That's cool. And then I'm also going to do a drop shadow. Now the drop shadow is going over here. So I'm just going to change it to the other side so that it's inside here. Looks funny if it's over here. Okay, so that really has created a, a really nice 3D effect. So I'm going to carry on doing the same thing with the other things. So I'm just going to pause now and then I'll bring you back. Okay, now I've got everything uh, set up the way I want. You can see that I've got drop shadow on my furniture, my cupboards here, my furniture here. So all this furniture here has drop shadow. I've done my burn and dodge in these areas. Um, I'm going to do some lighting effects next. So we'll do that on another video. So thank you very much. And I hope you've enjoyed working with this Photoshop.